Today is yet another testament of the unparalleled and strong linkages between the Department of Education and our respective local government units, especially in an advocating sports to the youth. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all rise and give respect to our keynote speaker, the representative of the 1st District of Ilocos Norte, the Senior Deputy Majority Floor Leader, the Honorable Congressman Ferdinand Alexander Sandro A. Marcos. <laughs> Afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you very much for the kind yet uh, undeserving introduction. Please, everyone, take your seats. Uh, first of all, to all our entrants, to all our athletes, Welcome to Elocos Norte, to our 1,072 delegates. I would like to first of all wish all of you good luck and say welcome to our beloved province. I, of course, would like to greet uh, the officials who are uh, with us today, uh, beginning with our beloved Governor Matthew Marcos Manotok, Assistant Secretary and the Secretary General ng Palarong Pambansa, Honorable Francis Cesar Bingas, and to the various, um, to the various Assistant Regional Directors, Regional Directors, uh, the officials of the Palarong Pambansa na kasama natin ngayon. Uh, medyo maraming pangalan, so hindi ko na lang uulitin dahil binanggit na ni Gov. But I would like to welcome all of you to this momentous occasion. I would like to start my speech, of course, uh, by congratulating and giving credit to the Department of Education for throwing the first ever pre-national qualifying meet. So this is a historic and momentous occasion. So congratulations, of course, to the Department of Education and concomitantly our, se our beloved Secretary, Vice President, Inday Sara Duterte. I think, uh, alam niyo naman po, na this administration prioritizes not only the education of our students within the classroom, but the education of our students holistically and outside the classroom. So alam naman natin that sports is an integral part of personal development Competitive athletes always come out to be better people after school. So nakikita po natin na napakagandang programa na ito para sa ating mga kabataan, para sa ating mga estudyante. Ako naman, actually ang buong Marcos family ay uh, talagang inasikaso at sinigurado na lahat kami ay nakapasok sa competitive sports. Ako, competitive shooting, competitive football, at um, si Gov ay uh, alam natin, uh, matagal nang nagbabasketball uh, sa kanyang high school, nag-varsity siya at uh, kasama din niya ang kanyang mga kapatid. Uh, so we know how important it is to be part of a team, to be en uh, involved in something as serious as this. Uh, ako naman, nag-basketball sana pero hindi ako kasing tangkad ni Gov, kaya iba na lang pinili ko. But uh, in any case, uh, we have seen the importance of various sports. We have seen how well that uh, these how well these programs do for the development of our children and our students. So all I can say is I hope that you choose to continue whatever sport you have chosen to pursue, whatever sport you have decided to keep on going with. 
Because I promise you, kasama sa inyong edukasyon, how you choose to develop your competitive side, how you choose to be a student athlete will reap huge benefits for you in the future. So once again, uh, as the Congressman of the 1st District, I would like to greet all of you uh, a very, very merry afternoon and more importantly, good luck po sa inyong lahat. In turn, katulad sa sinabi ni Gov, I hope that I can assure all of you that your stay here in Ilocos Norte will be a safe one, will be a prosperous one, and hopefully will be a victorious one. But should you need anything from me, from my staff, or from my office, bukas po ang pintuan ng aking opisina. Kung meron po kayong kailangan, kung meron po kayong mga concern, andun lamang kami para sa inyong lahat. Welcome to Ilocos Norte. Agbiyag po sa inyong lahat. Agbiyag, Ilocos Norte. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, our keynote speaker, Honorable Ferdinand Alexander A. Marcos III. At this juncture, may we request our keynote speaker to be at the center stage for the awarding of the token of appreciation in recognition of his unwavering support and commitment to furthering the resilient educational foundation and inheritance every Filipino has the right to access. Likewise, we invite the presence of our Governor Matthew J. Marcos Manota, Regional Director Tolentino Aquino, Assistant Regional Director Roda Razon, and Schools Division Superintendent Attorney Donato Balderas Jr. to hand the token of appreciation to our keynote speaker. We would also like to invite on stage Assistant Ashe Secretary Francis Cesar P. Bringas. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, a resounding applause to Honorable Ferdinand Alexander A. Marcos III, First District Representative of Ilocos Norte and the Senior Deputy Majority Leader of the Philippine House of Representatives.